have two things to say that I believe lock in the goodness of God towards us regarding provision. The first one is we can do nothing about. The first one, we, have, we can't affect it. We can't change it. It's all God's issue. And that is that he just doggone loves us. And he really, really wants to be a provider, just exactly what his name says. He wants to do that. It's his delight. You and I can't change that. It has nothing to do with this. We, we cannot make it worse or better. It's just him. That's the first thing that opens up the heavens. Okay? The next thing is, though, dancing with him, learning to dance with him. What kind of dance is he dancing? And so to the degree that we learn how to dance, to the degree we learn how to move with him, not step in his toes, get ahead of him, leg behind, whatever, to the degree we tango, rumba, uh, slow dance, line dance, whatever he's doing with him, that's the degree that it releases that much more. The first one we do nothing. The second one is what we do. God's love is the first one. Our participation or moving with him. And basically what that is, is all, all, all that is is simple obedience. It's not ministry. It's not busyness. It's not anything that has activity to do with it primarily and basically. Fundamentally, it's just simple obedience. And as Bob Jones says, whether you take a nap or raise the dead, it pays the same. So taking a nap, that's not all that hard. But if, it's, if that's obedience, that's where the pay comes from. So, God's love first, our participation in simple obedience, learning to dance. So, how, what is learning to dance? Learning to dance, to me, is not only devotion, which is the first commandment, but it's the second commandment in the New Testament, thou shalt love the neighbors as they sell. And uh, it's learning to be about our Father's business as much as humanly as possible, given our grace and our time and our maturity level at this time of life. So, today, we wake up, uh, we spend time with God. Now, I'm not saying to do that uh, religiously or as a hard protocol or a forced labor. And maybe we don't do that first thing in the day. Maybe for somebody, it's the last thing at night. But whatever it is, it's got to be the heart posture, even if it's during the course of the day. If that's all we do. Wh- whatever it is. Everybody, you know, different strokes for different folks. But whatever it is, it's got to be first of all devotion, and, and out of that flows the life. How do we serve the kingdom today? Is it on the phone? Is it on the internet? Is it one-on-one? Is it face-to-face? Is it a group? Is it behind a pulpit? Is it downtown or an inner city? Where is it that you're promoting the kingdom? Because bottom line, this is a premise that I think comes out of Peter's gold coin story, is that if we'll be about our father's business, he'll take care of our business. Are we sold out to take care of his business? If so, I think he says, Second Chronicles 16.9, I will show myself strong to the one whose heart is completely mine. So, those two things, I think, help to release the provision of God. The first one, we do nothing about. The second one is simple obedience or learning to dance with God.